My name is Dr. Cindy Nebel. I'm a professor at Vanderbilt University and a member of the Learning Scientists team. Together, we use science to try to figure out the best way to help students learn. We do that by coming up with general rules of thumb or flexible guiding principles to help students study well and without spending too much time. What this means is that we're really trying to come up with efficient study strategies so that no one is wasting their time doing things that aren't going to help them remember. Spaced practice is one of the strategies with the most research to support its use. Typically, the night before any exam, students spend countless hours studying and cramming information in order to try to remember as much as they can for the exam. But when it comes time for the actual exam the next day, students have a difficult time retrieving the information that they spent all night studying. The alternative to this is called spaced practice. So instead of spending many hours the day before an exam, the suggestion is instead to spread out that study across multiple days. So the suggestion here is not to spend more time studying, but rather to change the way in which we are studying so that that study is spread out over time. The best way to do this is to build study into your calendar. We should use small pockets of time that we actually plan out so that we're doing a little bit of study or review throughout a week or a month. This is different than just doing homework. Homework is typically assigned by teachers. It usually has some sort of due date. You turn it into your teacher to examine or grade, and it helps you to learn and prepare for bigger tests or exams. Here, we are suggesting that instead you engage in something called study or revision. This is something that you should consistently do on your own. It has no due date, you just do it every week. There's nothing to turn in, it's just something that you do for you. And it also helps you learn and prepare for bigger tests and exams. This is our main goal is to create long-term retention of information so that when you get to larger tests or exams, they're easier, but also so that you remember the information beyond just this one course. In spaced practice, when you sit down to engage in study or revision, you should try to recall information, not just from what you are currently learning, but also information from perhaps a week ago or a month ago. And this will likely be challenging. Information that is older will be more difficult to bring to mind and difficult to understand and remember what it means. But that difficulty actually helps with long-term retention. And importantly, when you engage in these study or revision sessions, you shouldn't just reread your notes. Instead, you should engage in other beneficial strategies like testing or sketching, and we have other videos that talk about those strategies.